Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Strata launched Talon A2 complete successful hypersonic flight, B-29 Fifi engine repairs delay air power history tour, Spirit to furlough up to 350 workers amid inventory surplus. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talon Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Strata Launch Talon A2 completes successful hypersonic flight. Strata Launch conducted the second successful launch and recovery of its Talon A2 autonomous vehicle in a flight that exceeded its previous speed beyond Mach 5, also for the second time. Strata Launch is focused on expanding its hypersonic flight testing to support U.S. defense objectives in its return to hypersonic flight since the end of its X-15 program in 1968. Dr. Zachary Crever, president and CEO of Strata Launch, said, quote, With the data collected from this second flight, we are able to apply lessons learned to enhance the strength and performance of the Talon A vehicles. While the team needs to complete its data review of Flight 2, the first flight review confirmed the robustness of the Talon A design, while demonstrating the ability to meet the full range of performance capabilities desired by our customers. We've now demonstrated hypersonic speed, added the complexity of a full runway landing with prompt payload recovery, and proven reusability. Both flights were great achievements for our country, our company, and our partners." End quote. Strata Launch performed the test flights under the Multi-Service Advanced Capability Hypersonic Testbed, or MOC-TB, program conducted by the Test Resource Management Center. George Rumford, director of the Department of Defense Test Resource Management Center, said, quote, "...demonstrating the reuse of fully recoverable hypersonic test vehicles is an important milestone for MOC-TB." After the break, 2028 Olympic site turned emergency runway. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Sherwings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. 2028 Olympic site turned emergency runway. The Riviera Country Club in Los Angeles, which also happens to be a host for the 2028 Summer Olympics, turned into an emergency landing site for a Cessna 172 on May 2nd. The pilot was apparently experiencing engine issues and was unable to make it to Santa Monica as planned. The aircraft, a 1965 Cessna 172G, registered as November 3753 Lima, had departed from Turlock Municipal Airport at around 10.30 a.m. It turned southeast and flew for around 250 miles toward its planned destination of Santa Monica Airport. Textron calls in backup for Special Olympics transport. Textron Aviation is calling all Cessna, Beechcraft, and Hawker owners to coordinate athlete transport for the 2026 Special Olympics USA Games. This will be the ninth airlift event since 1987. The Special Olympics airlift is one of Textron's most iconic community events, flying part of the Games as more than 4,000 athletes and coaches across the nation. Since the inaugural event in 1987, the SOA has carried upwards of 10,000 people to the Special Olympics World Games and USA Games. The last time around in 2022, Textron asked for 228 aircraft. Lockheed hands over completed Artemis II spacecraft. Aerospace giant Lockheed Martin recently turned in its share of the Artemis II venture, delivering its Orion spacecraft to the NASA Exploration Ground Systems team. This will be used to take four astronauts to the moon in early 2026. Lockheed Martin was awarded a multi-mission NASA contract for long-term production of the advanced human-rated deep space Orion spacecraft in September 2019. This contract, also known as the Orion Production and Operations Contract, details up to 12 spacecraft and should keep the space agency covered well into the 2030s. Flight Sim Expo set for late June. Flight Sim Expo is coming back for 2025, taking place at the Rhode Island Convention Center from June 27th to 29th. 
It's nice to see the Flight Simulation Association keep up their tempo in the industry as one of the few cost-effective, accessible routes to onboard newcomers and to aviation. Sim fidelity is worlds apart from where it was in decades past, and each year the association finds ways to show the computer avoidant what they've been missing. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. B-29 Fifi Engine Repairs Delay Air Power History Tour Fifi, one of only two flying B-29 Superfortresses, will be grounded for the next month or so for intensive repairs to two of its engines. Unfortunately, this timing means that the commemorative Air Force will be forced to push back its 2025 Air Power History Tour. The iconic bomber had been undergoing typical preseason checks with the B-29, B-24 squadron maintenance team, spearheaded by Matthew Hood, when issues were noticed with engines 2 and 4. These were identified as necessary repairs, leaving squadron leadership with the tough decision to delay the aircraft's first tour stop. Hood and the team removed engines 2 and 4 before sending them to California for cheaper and more efficient repairs. Volunteers have been working alongside the crew and are expected to complete the project within the next month, getting Fifi back in the air in time for the Lexington, Kentucky tour stop on June 25th. In the meantime, the commemorative Air Force is seeking some extra financial assistance to help it through Fifi's repairs. As if maintaining an 80-some-year-old airplane isn't expensive enough, losing a significant amount of tour revenue early on puts an extra burden on the nonprofit and the hundreds of other warbirds in its collection. After these messages, Spirit to furlough up to 350 workers amid inventory surplus. Welcome back. Spirit to furlough up to 350 workers amid inventory surplus. Spirit Aerosystems is temporarily laying off between 250 and 350 employees at its Wichita facility, citing an overproduction of parts for the Boeing 737. The furloughs, beginning May 12th, are expected to last about 30 days. They will affect employees working in 737 fabrication and composite thrust reverser components. In a company email to staff, Spirit blamed the furloughs on the fact that it, quote, overproduced and accumulated a parts surplus, end quote. The timing of the furloughs is notable, with Boeing in the process of acquiring Spirit's commercial operations through a $4.7 billion deal. That acquisition was partly motivated by Boeing's desire to bring more control over manufacturing quality following repeated production missteps. Airbus, meanwhile, is scooping up Spirit facilities related to its own aircraft. Spirit reported an 11% drop in first quarter revenue compared to last year, driven largely by reduced output on Boeing programs. The company lost $613 million during that period, only a marginal improvement over last year's $617 million loss. While 737 production was once expected to ramp up in early 2024, the FAA maintained its ruling that kept Boeing's monthly 737 output at or below 38 jets. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.